Hey guys, what's up? Beast and Beast Toys are coming at you. Gonna do an opening of a clamp champ, but first hit that like and subscribe button if you want to get notifications of my reviews. Hey, starting a long run, second of a long run of openings tonight. At least that's my plan anyway. We're gonna get cracking here. So I got a clamp champ. Um, this one is interesting wave. When I show you the back, these are not necessarily easy to come by. Uh, web store is like ridiculously hard. Now, I ordered him from some shop, some online place that used shop pay and all that. And it's called Bo, Bobo Shone, Bobo Shoopy, Bo Bone Shoopy Shop or something. It says it's in New York. I don't know. Anyway, said I had that thing for seven bucks. Got him and Attila for seven bucks. So $14 shipped is what it says. I don't know. Long short. We'll see. It's been almost two weeks since I ordered and not, not nothing. Got no, nothing. So even emailed him the other day and still haven't heard nothing. So anyway, we'll see what happens. But as I'm saying, uh, Prince Adam did a Prince Adam video. Already got that up. Clamp Champ second of, uh, of this wave. And then Skeletor. I'll have that Skeletor. May do him actually next. I've got him in the box behind me. The Horde Skeletor. Kind of cool looking figure. Um, still got several more to buy. Um, but I am coming along quite well in this collection, so to be Clamp Champ, Heroic Master of Capture. I read somewhere. I have to be more careful getting these out, I think. I read somewhere that some of these figures are not... I think I read someone posted like a slush slush head target slush head was uh if you didn't weren't careful when you open him his uh, thing broke so anyway this is on his hand not sure how this exactly works um oh that's it comes with two fists by the way and that's it you don't get a whole lot with this figure that's a weapon the claw mandible claw if you know what that is the iron claw oh, I see that I don't want to throw that over there anymore I threw it in the wrong box anyway so you get a set of fists you get clamp champ he's the look of the very similar look on this figure that you get from the origins just uh, obviously taller you know here he is uh, I like the color scheme on him. I like the red with the blue. I think it's pretty cool. I actually like that look. And he does match up well with Fisto. They kind of have a similar uh, armor, so that's kind of neat. So basically what you do is you set this down in there like this. And you just clamp it, literally clamp it down over it, and it'll stay. And uh, if I can get it even out. There you go. Uh, so these. Oh, thank you. I guess you can put that through his hand. I don't know. I'm trying to think that maybe that's the way to go. Put it. Put his hand through it. But maybe not. So. Trying to find the best way to do this, guys. I'm, I'm struggling a bit here. So I'm, it, it, it looks to me that it goes on like so. And then it's, it's like weird because when I turn it, Yeah, I'm not so sure he didn't have this this piece in his hand. I'm going to try it and see if I can get it in there. There we go. Yeah, I think that's how it went. And then you pop this piece on here. So I don't, I, when I was looking at the middle piece, except I got it upside down. That's, that's great. Yeah, I got it upside down. 
leave it to me. Um, you know, checking his joints and appendages, everything bends fairly well. Not too loose boots. This boot's a little loose. I always talk about how some of their boots are loose. I don't know. I'm not, not sure what the reasoning behind that is. So let's try the, the underneath approach now instead. This is what makes me think this is where we were at originally. Just, just a minute ago before I took it off. Yeah, see that sits perfectly on his wrist. So I think that's what that's what I'm doing wrong. Yep. And there he is. There's our clamp champ. Gotta watch it, man. That's a I have to lean him back a little bit. Put some weight on the back. This thing's heavy. Look at that. Alright, got it. So, Clamp Champ. Evil Warriors better get a grip, or Clamp Champ will give them one. Armed with his Techno Clamp, the heroic master of capture puts his enemies in a pinch on the battlefield. As one of Eternia's greatest heroes, he protects the royal palace from the evil forces of Skeletor. Alright, guys, there you are. Your one and only Clamp Champ. And I don't know. I wonder if he's got a light skin variant, right? That's, uh, that's supposedly the rarest Motu Origins figure is the variant clamp champ so who knows all right guys that's it i'm going quick tonight i'm gonna try to get a bunch of these done several if i can so there you go hit that like subscribe button if you want to check out more of my reviews and as always guys with clamp champ thanks for watching on beast from beast toys we'll see you